He was supposed to be the unofficial world champion, having broken the other person's record by four seconds. He's a fish out of water, almost literally. You've got a two-week journey from Hawaii to a little pool in a club in Pittsburgh, which was filled with cigar smoke, fans yelling and pointing at you. In a sense, all of them looking at him saying, prove it, prove it, what do you got? And by the way, for the first time in your life, you're gonna swim indoors. That's what Duke had to overcome to be the best. Our blood is thin because of the warm water. And I think when Duke jumped in, it was on shock to the body, and not just to the body, but to the mind. The water was different for him. He never swam in a pool before. Pool water is not like salt water. The mind saying, do this, and you push yourself past what the body is used to, and everything starts locking up. As Duke's body betrayed him, being unable to finish the race must have been a physical and mental shock. The world record holder, the waterman, the pride of Hawaii, can't finish a race and had to be rescued. Everybody kind of snickered behind their hands because this was supposed to be the world record holder. The press, which has heard about this sort of Hawaiian hurricane, just just turns the other way, the mainland press, and goes, this guy's just a fable. He's, he's not a real competitor. He can't handle the pressure. Maybe in retrospect, it was a good thing that you fail right away because he had to go, you know what, uh, this is different. In my opinion, the building blocks of a waterman is humility. As a student of the ocean, that would have made him pretty resilient to failure. Failure is not going to stop you. You're just going to figure out a different route. 